Welcome to part 12 of the series on business process automation. We continue talking about WOPED, the workflow Petrinet designer. This time it's about business process simulation. In our last video, we found out using WOPED's capacity planning that our hairdressing salon needed six and a half hairdressers and two apprentices to serve 100 customers in 10 hours. While two apprentices was not a problem, we had to limit the number of hairdressers to five. In order to simulate the process with WOPED and find out if there are unacceptable waiting times for our customers, we need to enter our staff into WOPED's Resources tab. The graphical view of the result can be seen behind me. If you want to see more details, look at the WOPED file in the supplementary material. Just follow the link below. We have five hairdressers and two apprentices. The owner, Bruce, prefers to stay on the strategic level and not to be obliged to stay in the salon all the time. When we start WOPED's quantitative simulation, we set the number of clients and the observation period exactly like for capacity planning before. When we look at the results, we see that all our staff have a utilization ratio of over 90%. This is not good. This would mean that they wouldn't even have a half an hour lunch break. The other result that is intriguing is that we now have a long average wait time for certain tasks. The wait time for the haircut is long, but we serve a coffee to mitigate this fact. What is completely unacceptable is that customers have to wait even longer to pay at the till. When we come to think about it, this is because we only let hairdressers operate the till and don't want to put the burden of responsibility on the apprentices. Is there an easy way around this? Find the answer in our next video on business process improvement.